Several classics exist in the realm of bite-sized but difficult physics games. I Am Bread, Surgeon Simulator, and Getting Over It with Bennett Foti come to mind. These games usually have a light-hearted or goofy tone combined with a signature movement mechanic. Spanish developer Rattle Like a Games dips into this world with Freddy Spaghetti. Dr. P. Star, more often called Dr. Pasta these days, narrates the game. The good doctor has created a machine that gives life to inanimate objects. The first of these objects is a piece of cooked spaghetti, Freddy. The story itself is a bit disjointed, but it's delivered in a goofy way that elicits a chuckle or two. As with other games of this style, there is a signature mechanic. The trigger buttons each control one end of Freddy. Press the trigger to hurl that end in the direction of the control stick. After about 30 seconds of struggle, this mechanic proves to be surprisingly intuitive and enjoyable. Levels in Freddy Spaghetti average around 30 to 60 seconds and usually only involve one kind of obstacle or specific movement. These shorter levels give the game a nice pace, but the lack of variety within each level can be a negative at times, especially if that level has lethal obstacles. Freddy can be killed by falling, or by various hazards such as lit stoves or moving cars. Luckily, the respawn time is lightning fast. Overall, Freddy Spaghetti delivers exactly what is expected for a $5 US indie title. The stages are hit or miss, and the overall playtime is one to two hours. If this type of physics game appeals to you, I'd recommend it. If not, I'd wait for it to go on sale or give it a skip. A three out of five. Yeah.